make this story I'm talking about. Perhaps you've purchased something in the past, like a Phantom Menace Anakin Skywalker and kept it in the box, thinking that 20 years later it would be worth a small fortune. Welcome to Toy Tantrum, and today I will talk about perceived value with my latest find, the rare, the impossible to get, four pack of cashmere toilet paper. with you i've loved these since i was born in fact i've always had an affinity for uh toilet paper in fact uh, the four pack of toilet paper was always a favorite with my family um we had a big family but we would buy these and we would hoard them and we would hide them under our beds and then we'd have our own little private stash and this four pack actually reminds me of when i was a little boy on christmas and i actually got one of these in my stocking um which uh, has a sentimental value. And when I collect toys, that's what I like to do. I like to get things that are sentimental, not necessarily something that's going to go up in price. Now, a lot of the toys that I have are worth money because, of course, collectors want them. We get a little older and we want to get a little bit of our youth back and we have a little bit of expendable income. So we buy, uh, for example, a vintage Star Wars figure or an old school Superman figure that we had and we loved and rightfully so. But when things are blown out of value, when things become so unobtainable, it kind of loses the, uh, the appeal for me as a toy collector who loves to get things because I just love them. I don't ever want to sell my toys. I'm never going to sell them. So this is a prime example of a piece that people are really hot on right now on eBay. They're going for uh, about 20 times the value that they would have went uh, a few weeks back. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to open one of these up and hopefully we uh, can uh, take a look and see what's inside. Folks, I know that this might have a lot of sentimental value to you. Uh, I know that packaging definitely does carry a lot of nostalgia, uh, Star Wars packaging and Super uh, Powers collection. And even going back to the original G.I. Joes, I used to spend hours looking at the backs of the cards, wanting other action figures in the line. And it was no different with uh, this cashmere toilet paper. Uh, what I like about this one is you didn't have to really wait. You actually got four rolls. And uh, let's have a look inside and see uh, what's going on with the toilet paper inside. I'm going to actually open this up and you know I haven't opened up one of these in a very long time we're gonna take a look at what's inside I'm gonna oh yeah I remember that so this is this is unbelievable um I remember having one of these as a kid up until a few weeks ago and uh you know the, the tube I mean brings back so much memory uh you would use the paper uh, and then you could use the tube for maybe a rocket or you can make something out of it or you can you could even hear hold on you can even look through it and, and see into people's insanity and uh anyway this is uh this is the first uh roll from the four pack and this actually reminds me of getting a four pack of Star Wars figures you get four figures uh, at towers or at maybe Kmart and and they came in a pack of four and 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 it was exciting because you had more to play with and in this instance yeah, look at that. They're just so beautiful. I mean, let's take a look at these in a row and and really, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of this packaging because, you know, everyone's so up in the air when I throw away original packaging. But you know what, it, it, it's, a, it's a loose toy now. It, it doesn't have any purpose other than to be enjoyed. And and I like her. She's my little purity doll from the Miss, uh, Miss Curity. It's actually what her name is, not purity. A Miss Curity from the 50s. And she's helping out today with the review. I'm going to put her in here so let's have a look and see what's going on so oh yeah this is the uh this is the one that people tend to want more than the other three 
And the reason why is if you notice, there's just a little bit less on the roll. It's a little bit more compact. And uh, if you open it and you show that it is still to ply. So whoever was at the factory that day was cheaping out and putting about probably 10 less squares on the roll. Uh, let's see how it reps. Oh, that's wild. I mean, it, it reps like I remember. Um, you know, I remember ripping toilet paper to use, um, sometimes both sides, depending on the day or, or what we had for dinner. But I remember that, yeah, it's still held up to this day. It's Look at that. It, it rips with, and you know, you can't rip it this way, the same way. You see, it's chaotic. I mean, that just brought back so many memories. I, I haven't done that in so long. Um, so that being said, that it comes with four um, and, you know, when you really look at these things, uh, like I've said in the past, um, I collect for the love of collecting. And so I'm going to be, uh, keeping three of these, but the rare one, because it's toy tantrum, we're going to be destroying it by flushing it down the toilet. Absolutely crazy. It costs a lot of money, but we are going to flush it down the toilet. Old school style, folks. We're going to take this guy. Now, there's a way to do this properly. You kind of get a bunch of it at first, and you put it in, and then you give it a flush. Yeah! Here on Toy Tantrum. I'll see you at the toy show.